I said I'd get a couple videos out and I already had this shot and by mistake somehow I erased it. Uh, so we're going to have to do it again. Uh, I'm going to do a country song, uh, four chords, four easy progression, uh, four beats per chord, you know, four strums. Uh, it's four easy chords and they just go through that the whole song. Uh, the song ha does have some different complexities to it, but we're not going to get into that. Um, I might do a cover on this one with my Takamimi and on one of my uh, Firefly Juniors. Because uh, I, I played it um, a couple weeks ago because I haven't touched guitar in two weeks, people. I've been so busy. Uh, and that's, I, have, I haven't been able to get any videos out, and I told a few people I'd have some videos out. So I'm going to try to shoot one or two tonight. Uh, I'll do one on, I'll do... I'll do maybe a cover, two different covers, once with this and once on my uh, my Firefly Junior. But it's four easy chords. It's uh, G for four beats, four strums. And then D, you can either play the D major, bottom four strings, four strums, or you can play D sus four. And uh, we'll show you the fingerings for all that. And then E minor, seven, all six, six strings. And then the C add nine, all uh, the five string from the A string down. Or you can play the C, you know, over here, if, you know, that's, you know, that, that's up, that's up to you. But it's much easier for beginners to just keep these two fingers locked. Even when you play the D, until you get used to be able to put, you know, do this switching, you know, and I, 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 you know, I encourage you to practice that switching back and forth because when you're doing that with these two fingers, you can play D major chord, put the finger down, D sus4, pick that finger up, pick that finger up, and you got the D sus2. And I, I encourage you to just sit there and work on that because there's so much you can do with that D chord that just brings songs alive. Okay, I'm going to scoot close and we're going to uh, show you the fingerings real quick because this is the third time I've shot this video. <laughs> and I've actually erased it once and the first one I had a little, little too long on it. So hold on. Oops. Okay. Hopefully you can see. I'm going to show you the fingering. I'm going to show you the fingering real quick. Uh, starts out with the sweet G. So your bottom two fingers are locked. Third fret. High E and B. Fourth finger E. Third finger B. First finger will go in your A string, second fret. Your second finger, third up on your E string which gives you the, D note, the G note, and that's your, we're playing in the key G, so that's, that's your G, strum all six, all six for your G. Then you go to the D, first finger, second fret, D string, second finger, second fret on your high E, third finger on your B string, it stays there, never moves, on your uh, third fret. Or you can put the pinky down and keep that finger up, or however, you know, I'll put it down there. Uh, and then you strum the bottom four. That's your D sus four. And you can pick the pinky up. And you get a different sound. So I encourage you to work on that. But just to start out, you know, just do your G. And then go down here and do, do your D sus four. And then you'll know, work on the D major. And taking that pinky on and off with this finger down here on your E string and your second fret. And trust me, it, it will open up a whole new world for you for a lot of different things you can do. And then, so you do four in that. So G, D, E minor, seven. These two fingers are locked, like always, down here in the, in the third fret on the bottom two strings. This finger goes up, covers your A, in your D string. You string, strum all four. If you can't use one finger to cover the both strings and get them to ring out, then by all means 
take your second finger, move your first finger over, and put that in there on your A and your D string in the second fret with these two locked on the bottom. And that's that's your E minor seven, and that's all all six strings. And then this, the final chord in the progression is a C add nine, which is just like your G, your sweet G. These two fingers are locked, like I've showed you. Your first finger goes on your D string in the second fret. Your second finger goes on the A string in the third fret. And you can take this finger up a little bit if you want and kind of mute your low E string. And you strum, you strum the bottom five from your A string down because this is the C note here. So you're, you're, playing, you're playing the C add nine. And then your G because you start out bass note to G note. Start out here on the D. And you're, you're, you start at the D string and strum down. So that's your D chord. That's the D. And then up here, E, which you're leaving this now open. So once you leave this string open and you strum it, it becomes your, and you're, you're blocking these two here and this one here, becomes your E minor 7. Same as if you're playing an E. That's an E chord. These two fingers right here, E chord. Put that finger down there. That's an E minor. E. So, I mean, if you really wanted to play it and go and do the E and then go up and do the E minor, that's your choice if you really want to do that. You can do that. And then, and then you know, from there you can drop down, drop, drop down, drop, you know, bring the finger up, spread it apart if you can. Some people can't. And then... Do, do the C, and then so it's those four chords. I'm gonna scoot back so you can see a little bit better. I got my assistant in here, and he's too busy goofing off over there. He's about to get beamed by a uh, by a capo. <laughs> Right here, these suckers work good for bouncing off of people. Think. Okay, now in this song, the reason I'm saying capo and I grabbed it is because you can play this song and capo it for, you know, if you got a higher voice. And, you know, go down, such, you know. But, I mean, if you sing really, really high, I mean, you can work away all the way down here. You know? there and then my uh my pickup's not liking that but uh you can keep it there you can do whatever you want but in the key of G we're playing right here from here on up cowboy chords and it's four strums so we're gonna go one two three four and then go to your D Minor seven, C at nine, and then it starts back up with your G again. Uh, some songs will do, you know, start out with G or start out with a D, and then you know you end the chord progression on that, and they call it like a D or like a G sandwich. You know, I'll steal that from Steve Stein. That's where I learned it at. And uh, you know, uh, just like uh, a song I talked a couple weeks ago. Uh, can't you see? Because it starts out with the D, and it goes through the chords, and then it goes right back down, and it's the D, and then it starts with the D again. So there's, you know, eight majors on that. But on this song, it's all four, 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 and four. So we'll do an easy strum through it. Uh, Morgan uh, Wallen plays it with bar chords. Open chords. I've seen him play it like three or four different ways, uh, but this is the easy, basic beginner. Uh, maybe later we'll we'll do the bar chord part on it. And uh, but the song starts out with with him with a palm mute, and then. But we won't get into the palm muting because you know I, I want you to learn how to strum it and get it down, and then we'll, later we'll work on it. Uh, so it's four.
just work on that. And then after you get it down to where you know each, you get the timing down, you get the four beats down, and you get to where you're used to switching between the chords for each of those. Then you know start adding in a little bit extra. Uh, I'm not going to go into it too good. I'm just going to add a little bit of a different strumming pattern to it, and uh, and you take it and work on it and make it what you want. problems with it let me know it's just four G's four D's four E minors four C net C at nines and then you start it all over again so just work on it if you got any problems let me know uh, you know I'm new I'm starting to work on stuff right now my back is just I don't know it's just killing me the last couple days I haven't touched a guitar in two weeks I have been so busy I haven't been able to do nothing and sorry they ain't got some of these out to a few of the people that I told I'd get get them out to them I'm going to do a couple country songs because I'm, I'm a country boy. And then we'll, uh, we'll do some rock stuff, all that. And uh, so this is Morgan, Wall, uh, Morgan Wallen's uh, Whiskey Glasses. And, it, and it, it's, a cool, it's a cool song. Uh, you know, and it starts out in, uh, halfway through, you know, through parts of the song. It's... If you want to start out and just palm mute it, you can palm mute and just do, you know, just play the top two strings there on, on, on the G chord. It's however you want to do it. Just work on it. Have fun. If you have any problems, get a hold of me. Let me know. And uh, I might shoot another one over here for, uh, let's see, for Hardy uh, Rednecker. I might do a little quick uh, basic strums and a little easy on that one for you and shoot that one out. Try to get that to you tonight. Uh, I've been super busy. Sorry about everything, and uh, try to get a few more out here sooner. All right, everybody, y'all have a good night, and I'll talk to you later.